<sighs> All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So look, huge breaking NFL news here. Breaking Jets news, I should say. The New York Jets went out and they franchise tagged free safety Marcus May. And this was expected, right? Everybody knew that this was going to happen. Now, there was some talk about signing May to a long-term deal. We had that agent put that, you know, weird kind of tweet out where he was kind of lashing out at the Jets a little bit saying, you know, Marcus May has been a versatile player. He's been productive and this and that defending his client essentially. But at the end of the day, the franchise tag is still a sweet, sweet contract for a free safety. It's a one year, $11.2 million contract essentially. So Marcus May, it's a win-win for both sides, right? Marcus May is getting a nice payday, one year, 11 mil. Uh, and then as far as the Jets are concerned, they're getting a versatile safety at, free, at you know, pre predominantly free safety. You could play him at strong safety. He showed that versatility last season. But uh, all in all, we don't know how Marcus May fits into the new offense. So, I mean, we, we have an idea. And I do feel like May is going to do pretty well this season. But it's not for sure. We haven't seen it. We don't have that closure. So we don't want to be in a situation, the Jets don't want to be in a situation where they hand out a four-year contract where, you know, making May one of the highest paid safeties in the league. And then all of a sudden we get to camp and then we can't really figure out what to do with them. We don't really know where to put him, how he fits in the defense. Now, again, I do feel like he will fit the defense, but you want to have that one-year kind of bridge to see how Marcus May does. He also has had that seat. Well, he, he I mean, dip, uh, back in college at Florida, he had a bunch of injuries. Um, and then his sophomore season, he missed 10 games. He's been pretty clean outside of those two, uh, or, you know, outside of his sophomore year. But we don't, it's not like he's a clean, perfect player. It's like, uh, like a Joe Tooney or something like that, where he's never missed a game. So the hope is stay healthy. Let's get him in the system. Let's see how he does and then move forward with a long-term deal after the season. So that would be my personal plan of attack, but franchise tag for Marcus May. It's a great, great little thing for the, uh, you know, it's a great payday for May. It's a great deal for the Jets as well. So I love it. It was expected. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you disappointed that May didn't get that long-term deal, that that security? Uh, I, I think at the end of the day, though, he will eventually. I feel like maybe midway through the season or towards the tail end of the season, if he's doing pretty well, the Jets will go out and, you know, um, extend him. So I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.